I think I smell me a low tide nearby. A razor clamp. Does it look like a razor? <laughs> left, left. Left? Yeah, there they are, right there. Oh, yeah, there's some more. Hey everybody, so I'm here on Cape Cod and Katie is working so that's why she's not here but I'm with Katie's lovely mother and father and we are going to do something I've never done before even having visited this place many times but it's one of the things it's famous for. We're going to go cohogging. So here are the tools for the job. We've got these cool rakes that got some little basket attachment on them and what else we got this little bucket with a floaty on top. So let's go see if we can stir some stuff up. So the only rules are, if it fits through that, it's too little to keep. Fits through that, too little to keep. Yeah. All right, so we need to get some big ones. Oh, look at this, we got a bunch over here. All right, nice haul. We got a good one. That's a good one. And then you'll feel what you think is a rock, but it's actually a coat on. And then you have to dig under it. All right, I think I'm ready to give it a go. When you find one, you got to be quick to dig under it because otherwise it's going to go down into the sand and you'll never get it. We got it. Looks like it. Yeah, I did <laughs> Your first try and you get four? <laughs> Those all keepers? This one, that's a good yeah. one. This one, you can almost get through the gate, so that one's probably too small. All right, I'll bet. Let's give it another go. Let's see if this one goes. Well, that one's nice and fast, so that's good. This one. Filming yourself. Cool. Oh, that color. There he is, there he is. Okay, I got you. Come on, come on. Stay in there. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, I didn't see any big. <laughs> he got away. <laughs> Ooh. Crab. He's a little crabby. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That's a co-op. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, we're gonna fill this bucket up and then I guess we're gonna take them back and eat them. So we'll see you guys back at the house, probably. You want a light thing, man? 
Or like, I want me to pick it up so that you can tell it's a shell. Yeah. And then put it in your face and eat it. <laughs> God, I don't even know if I can do that. It's a shell. Mm, it's hot. <laughs> Alright, so we got night number two of Cape Cod classic shellfish, shellfish? activities. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing oysters. So this is how you do it, right? You stick it in the back. Yep. Kind of wiggle it. Oh, is that it? Yeah! yeah. Oh, don't. Yep, it's not it. done. You got it. No, you got it. You yeah. got it. All right. Go all the way around. Awesome. Big there reveal. We go. Hey! Woo. There it is. Beautiful. The legend. Beautiful. Yeah. Got a nice little color in there, too. Oh, cool. <laughs> and these oysters were harvested from the right next door to where we were co hugging the other day. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are at the Wellfleet Wildlife Sanctuary, I think that's what it's called, which is run by the Mass Audubon Society, which is a really cool organization that helps protect the wildlife out here. And we're gonna go on some hikes today and hopefully some, see some really, really cool sea creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're at the freshwater wetlands we're gonna do the Silver Springs Trail which is kind of short and then after that we're gonna go to the saltwater wetlands and then that will lead us to the beach so these first animals that you see here are probably gonna be freshwater <laughs> some turtles over there. Look at those little dumplings. Little dumplings. Oh, they're left, left. Left? Yeah, there they are, right there. Oh yeah, there's some more.
<laughs> fancy pine cones. <laughs> Why are they fancy? I don't know, because they're long and they're very green and they're covered in sap. Isn't that something? <laughs> Ha ha! Check it out, these mushrooms. Let's keep going. Okay, so we made it out into the Bay Area, as you can see, and they've got these cool signs that show what the average high tide is going to be in the year. 2063, and if you run down the way, Runner. you can see that they have 2050 is up here, which is just ever so slightly down, and then there's 2038, it's gonna be right here, and 2025 is right here, which is not too long from now. Quite frankly, I think that they're uh, they're overestimating it, or wait, underestimating it. I think it goes either way, but I think it'll be it'll be there sooner than they think. So let's go look for some animals out here. You can see around us, there's all these crab holes. Look, there's a little crab. And they'll go into those holes to hide from us. Crab holes. So if we walk oh, there's one. There's quietly one along. He's going in. Oh, I scared him. So anyway, they're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here on the boardwalk and it's low tide and you can see there's tons of crabs but you're also starting to see some clams popping up some of them are just shells but some of them are still alive This is all covered in water probably in a few hours. Yeah. So, low tide. Check it out. We've got crabs, got mussels sticking up. See the aggression levels are starting to rise as this left large crab is attacking four or five other crabs. He's definitely riled up. You can tell he's not happy about it. Now the other ones are starting to react. It seems like he's tossed them across the way. See, I think they're, they're fighting over this shell they're standing on. There's about five, six of them all going for it, but it looks like there's two primary aggressors here. They're eyeing each other up. And you can see the attack is commencing. Oh, look, he's, he's, to pinch just, his arm. he's trying to push the other guy out of the way so he can focus on the king of the hill here, the pretty, leader of the crab tower. They're pretty fucking clumsy, but so am I. Get him. There he goes. He's taking him down. They're dragging him by the claw. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Oh, he's claimed it. He's on top. He's a victorious crabster. Oh, but they're gonna continue fighting over this all day long. I think we're leaving them to it. We'll leave them to it. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we found another species of animals. Check it out. We've got snails, clusters of snails. We've got another one. I don't have any material. Perma crab. A little hard to see under the water, but he's on the move. Hello there. My name is Mr. Clam Clam. Actually, I'm a scallop. Sorry about that. My name isn't Clam. It's 
call up. Call up. <laughs> All right. So what we have here is a razor clamp. because the the ribs go long versus a clamp where they go side to side. Oh, well education. It's a jelly blob. He's a blob of jelly. All right. Uh, we are in the middle of a giant tide pool right now. It's peak low tide. And I think we're gonna close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed all the wildlife that we were able to find for you. And lots of fun crabs coming along the way. <laughs> I think that that crab fight was pretty much the highlight for me. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. So. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for our little adventure on Cape Cod. And we'll be seeing you guys again in the next video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Our channel needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> He's rolling. Poor guy. Check out these, the march of the snails. They're all using their tongue to move up the stream.